Done. The latest version of Ariane 5, designed to put 10 tons into orbit, successfully completed its maiden flight on the 12th of February 2005. A picture-perfect liftoff from Europe's spaceport Kourou in French Guiana at 2103 Greenwich Mean Time was followed by an accurate injection of two payloads right into the predicted orbit. This was a dramatic moment for Europe 26 months after the failed first flight of Ariane 5 ECA. This failure necessitated a thorough review of all Ariane 5 systems, followed by innumerable preventative and corrective actions to minimize the probability of a repeat. You can see the, uh, on the curve line, the two lines are not uh, parallel. As you have probably noticed, something went wrong during this evening's launch, which has caused the premature end of the mission three minutes after liftoff. This launch paves the way for the commercial introduction of the Ariane 5 ECA, which is due to replace the less powerful current Ariane 5G and become Ariane Space's workhorse for heavy payloads. Ariane 5 ECA features upgraded twin solid boosters with 60 tons more thrust at liftoff than the current configuration. The cryogenic main stage carries 15 tons of additional propellant and is powered by a new engine Vulcan 2 which provides 20% more thrust. Finally, Ariane 5 ECA features the same high-performance cryogenic upper stage which has already written history with a 97% success rate on more than 100 Ariane 4 launches. Ariane 5 ECA has enough lift capacity to put combinations of practically any two commercial satellites into orbit together. This capability to launch two satellites for the cost of one launch should enable Ariane Space to reinstate the systematic dual launch policy that spelled the success of Ariane 4 10 years ago. This, the 164th Ariane flight, carried three payloads, one commercial satellite and two on behalf of the European Space Agency. The first, XSTAR EUR, is a 3,600 kilo commercial X-band communication satellite for providing secure communications for government customers. The smallest satellite was ESA's SLOSHSAT, designed to investigate fluid physics in microgravity. And the third satellite aboard, ESA's MAXSAT B2, attached to the launcher's upper stage, was designed to simulate the behavior of a commercial satellite inside the Ariane 5. Quatre, trois, deux, unité, feu. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des EAP, décollage. All three satellites were successfully launched into orbit, establishing Ariane Space once again as the world premier launch service provider. As you have seen, Ariane 5 ECA has successfully returned to flight, cancelling out the failure of December 2002.